Hey everyone, welcome to WYSIWYG Studios. Today we are going to take a look at Warcaster Neo Mechanica from Privateer Press. This is the Iron Star Alliance Command Group. Um, I added this to my Kickstarter that they did. Um, it was a pretty successful Kickstarter and they, even with everything going on, they were able to get stuff out on time. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this, flip it over real quick before we open it. So inside we are going to get a Paladin Commander, Paladin Weaver, Firebrand, Paladin Enforcers, Rulebook, Stat Cards, Dice, and the Cypher Cards. So it looks really good, I like that color. Oh my gosh, just hit one of my lights. Almost knocked it over, dun dun dun. All right, so inside, just like I said, so the models come in these little packages. It's interesting to me, but uh, recyclable, so that works. Bases. My last starter had two random bases like that too. I'm not quite sure what the intent was there because the void gates that come in the packages have bases, so not really sure why they did that. Anyway, so this is everything that we just listed off from the back of the box, so slide some of it out of the way real quick. Make some room to look at other things. Actually, let's take a look at the tokens. Tokens. All right, tokens. So you got your void gates here that go over there if you want that. Uh, there's a corrosion, fire, uh, you've done stuff. Um, your turn counter, um, maybe, I'm not sure. Then you've got your, this is definitely, this is your turn, but the turns are different or weird in this game. It's I'm still trying to wrap my head around how phases and stuff work but uh, and this is probably arc you can go around and pick that up or set it next to your dude to show that he has arc otherwise you can use other tokens so they are good quality tokens punching them out they're pretty thick so you don't really have to worry about any damages come into these. I know some tokens they come in some really flimsy cardboard and you have to replace them like the second time you play the game. This is not the case. Very good thick cardboard. So next up rule book. So this is really shiny. Good feel to it. I like the weight of the paper that they used. So let's see if I'm gonna blind you guys with my lights here. So Good pictures. I love the art. Man. Yeah. So there's the Warcaster. That's you. Sitting in a machine. Doing Warcaster things. You got some Marcher Worlds coming through a Void Gate. Attacking the Iron Star Alliance. Uh, you've got a giant ship. Here, sucking up some arcanescence, which is what everyone's after. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Anyway, fast forward. Well, talks about the factions. Had a little bit of... So we knew they, were, they talked about these guys. So the Empyreans will be in the next Kickstarter. But then we also have the Keepers. I'm not sure when we'll see those, but the... A lot of the talk about the keepers is it's it's Nemo and his followers, so that'll be really cool to see if that is the case. So here is the component list for what comes in the starter. Ah, pulse tracker. I couldn't figure out the name, but yeah, pulse tracker. And then oh, so these are your objectives. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it talks about what each of your duders do. Uh, what their role is in the game, general rules, your stat card explanations, uh, stats and different abilities, and then it just rolls through the game. 
Um, I really love the way that they did the explanations using actual models and not like weird um, tokens or templates. So like even there's a spot in here that talks about line of sight that shows, where is it? Oh, now I'm not going to be able to find it. Oh, here we go. See, this is cool. I really love this page showing line of sight with terrain and other models and stuff like that. It is, I like that. It's epic. Um, but yeah, anyway, getting back on topic. So you have your customizing your war jack. So you are able to change out the weapons for the arms. Each one has a different set of hard points that shows you where your arms go. Then you have your rack, which is a deck of cards. I'll show you here in a second. That allows you to affect the game as a um, as the commander. You know, you can play the card to do something strategic in the right moment, just like a normal commander would be able to. And then you got your mission generator, which shows you where to put all your um, objectives and what is required to win. That's pretty neat. And you got your secondary missions that you can roll for. Um, talks about skirmish missions because there's two levels of the game. You got skirmish and then the full game, which is all based off of points. So if you're doing skirmish, you would do these missions. You could, you could probably do these missions as skirmish too, but I'm not quite sure how the setup would work for that. And then last but not least, you got some pictures of painted up minis. Always nice to see really beautiful minis. Mm -hmm. Iron Star Alliance and the Eternus Continuum. And then your credits. Thank them for a good game. And quick, uh, quick reference on the back for your turns. So let's jump into some cards. So this, these are your, the cards for, let's scoot in a little bit and focus, yeah. So this is what you make up with your rack, you're, you're allowed to use these cards, there's rules in the rule book on what you can choose and how you have to choose them, but they have various effects, so like this one allows you to make the, a war jack, like a, have a bubble for defense. You know, and you've got ones that attack enemies directly. Uh, and so each of the colors means something. I'm just not familiar with what that's, that is. And so you pick, you have to pick certain amount of these per color, I believe, to make up your rack. And then you draw them throughout the game and use them through your weavers. Um or other mechanics that I'm not familiar with, but I think it's really cool, a little deck building aspect to the game. All right, so let's take a look at some other, what is this? Oh yeah, so they, these are these are the minis built that come in the this set. So you got your Firebrand Light Warjack. Um, this is all the weapons that it can use. Your Paladin of Enforcers. Sorry guys, it's really hard for my camera to focus on these. There's, there, the shininess and my lights are not helping. So there's the weapon pack again. The Enforcers built. Paladin Commander. Paladin Weaver. Back to the Firebrand. So these right here, when you go to buy the mini, this is what you see in front of the box. So it's interesting that they include these because it's got fluff on the back. So you can read up on the fluff. And then you get your actual cards. 
So these are some, it's really pretty. I love the feeling of the cardstock that they used for this, but you gotta sleeve these. Like, whoops, see, I'm already throwing them around. Like, they, they're elegant, if you wanna say, but you know, when something's elegant, it can tend to break easily. So, I mean, I don't want to say they're delicate because they can stand up to some punishment as long as you're not, you know, handing it to your dog or whatever. But, you know, so you got your weapons for the Iron Ram. So that's his shield. That's uh, uh, his cannon and whatnot. And then if you take a look, uh, it shows you where his hard points are. So he has a he has an arm hard point, arm hard point, shoulder arm point, and then he can change his cortex. And so depending on the head you use, those are the abilities you get. And then depending on the weapons you choose, that'll um, depict on what card you use there. And then real quick, we'll show you. So. Let's show you the unit. Yeah, so here's the enforcers, has their weapons, their stats, how many are in there for the unit itself. And then on the back, it's got all of their special rules. So you get all these and then I'm not sure how long this will last. I don't know if that's permanent, but I know for the Kickstarter, um, there's supposed to be like a limited edition style card and I think that's what they went with was this nice embroidery uh, they have a font um, that you got through the Kickstarter so if you were to plug that font into your computer and actually type this out and then translate it back to English it might say something in English I'm not sure so someone if you want to do it and leave it in the comments below that'd be cool and anyway there's your cards you get your just a really quick you get your strike dice um it's a strike dice game just like monster apocalypse which is cool i like strike dice and then the minis so let's just all right loud noises all right so here's your paladin enforcers one, two, so three, seven pieces. So one of the enforcers needs his leg, which looks like is this guy. Solid connection point. I always like it when they use things that are a little bigger. See? So that gives the, the leg something to line up with and good surface area if you need to pin if you want to pin pinning is always beneficial when it comes to metal minis but it can be tedious um let's see oh wow so interesting yeah so you've got uh hole guides here so don't put the square peg in the round hole. And with that, they line up really pretty. That is, I like that. That's really awesome. Huh. Anyway, that's your enforcers. Let's see, what's next? I'm just grabbing the bags as I go. There's not... They all have these little lines on them in the bottom, so I'm assuming that was their way of being able to tell what model was what. I don't know what that is, so I'm just going. So here is your weaver. So the weaver is what your warcaster talks to through the game to be able to cast spells and other nifty things using your cards. Um... Pretty simple model to go together. If I can find, there it is. Ha! <laughs> they say it's simple and then I get lost. Anyway, so yeah, there's that. Three pieces, goes together real well. Flash seems fine. There might be a couple of mold lines, nothing. Doesn't look like there's any mold lines in any vital areas. One of my biggest pet peeves is getting a model and have a mold line right through its face. It's like, Come on, come on. 
What you doing to me? All right, next up. Oh, Void Gates. Woo! See, that's why I was wondering. Like, maybe they put those two extra bases in the box for Void Gates, but the Void Gates already have. So, these are the bad boys that you set down to be able to summon others through. I'm going to have some fun painting these up. I'm going to use the uh, color shifter paints and maybe some neon paints to give it some extra pop. Anyway, so yeah. Void gate. What are you? Oh, okay. You're going to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rawr. Do do do. Pallid. Oh, so yeah. Okay, so Paladin Commander. Sorry, I had to look at the card to make sure that that's what this was. So yeah, that just goes in like that. That is interesting. So he's three pieces too. I was thinking that his. His weapon would be a little bit different, but all in all, the model looks good. So that one was real quick. You know, slide that one away. And what's next? Oh, now I'm throwing stuff. And this is... Okay, so I had to take a second and look this up. So this is a... Um, another Paladin Commander. So it's an alternate sculpt that apparently, um, or it was the original sculpt, I'm not quite sure. Um, so it comes a little differently put together, like all alternate sculpts are going to, which is kind of dumb for me to say. But anyway, um, yeah, so this came with the starter. Um, as part of the Kickstarter, I'm assuming, because I didn't order an extra commander, so maybe, yeah. Good stuff. Anyway, so that is a real quick look at the Iron Star Alliance for Warcaster from Privateer Press. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below, please. Otherwise, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.